Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Ridge Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the corded ridge stitch, which you can see here in front of you. Now this is a very heavily textured stitch. As you can see, it looks like cords are just running along the top of your piece of crochet fabric. So you have this heavy texture on one side, and then if you flip it over, it is a smooth double crochet backing. So we're going to learn how to crochet this stitch today. I'm going to be using a little bit of the Karen Times Pantone yarn by Yarnspirations, as well as a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. And information for both of these items can be found in the description of this video. Also in the description you'll find a link to the free written and photo tutorial that is on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, don't forget to subscribe. And uh, let's grab our hooks and yarn and learn how to crochet the corded ridge stitch. For our stitch tutorial today, uh, we are going to be working in rows. And you're going to start by making a slip knot and working a foundation chain. Your foundation chain can be any multiple of stitches plus two. So today I'm going to chain a total of 20 stitches. There's 15 and 20. Once you have your 20 stitches work, you're going to begin by working a double crochet into the fourth chain from your hook, so count in one, two, three, four, and work a double crochet stitch. You're now going to double crochet into each chain all the way across. So double crochet into each chain all the way across. Once you have worked your double crochet stitch all the way across, you're going to chain one, but do not turn your work. So in this pattern, you're always going to be working on this right side of your fabric. After you've chained one, we're now going to start the first row of our raised texture. And that texture is actually worked by making reverse single crochet stitches or crab stitches in the front loop only of the row below. So to work a reverse single crochet stitch or a crab stitch without turning your work, you're going to work your first stitch into the last double crochet stitch made. So you're just going to bring your hook back pick up that loop and front loop only and I pick it up by inserting my hook under up through the top grab a hold of your yarn and pull it back through and that's going to twist your two loops there as you bring them up so bring it through you have your two loops on your hook finish your single crochet by yarning over and pulling through that's your first crab stitch your or a reverse single crochet. So you're going to continue that all the way across. So into the next stitch, I bring my hook down, insert it under that stitch through that first loop only, grab a hold of my yarn, pull it back through and up. You can see it twisted your stitches, yarn over and pull through. Repeat all the way across. Insert your hook under that front loop only. Yarn over, pull it through, and up. Yarn over, pull through two loops. So continue to do that all the way across to your final chain three, and then meet me back here. And I'll just do a couple more stitches here and show you what it is looking like once you get used to the motion and working in the opposite direction you'll find the stitch will work quite quickly 
and if you take a step back it's going to give you this corded effect. So I'll pull forward, you can see your back loops there, and you have this corded ridge stitch. So continue all the way across and meet me back here when you reach your chain three. Once you come all the way across to your starting chain three, you're going to work a slip stitch into the top of that stitch and at this time you can work through both loops. So you're just going to pull that through, it might be a little bit tight, wiggle it through as a slip stitch and pull up your loop. You're then going to do not turn your work, chain three. Your chain three will count as a stitch as did this one when you come back to it. You're then going to now looking at the back loops only of the double crochet row. So kind of push your cord there in front a little bit and you can see your back loops only now. You're going to double crochet into each of those back loops all the way across. So go ahead, double crochet into each stitch all the way across. You're not turning your work, you still have that right side facing and as you work your double crochet stitches you're going to see that corded ridge really pop out. Like so. So continue all the way across with double crochet. I'm working my final double crochet into that back loop only and that's what your work should look like. You're now going to simply repeat your rows 2 and 3 for the entirety of your pattern. So chain 1 and your row 2 was that reverse single crochet into the front loop only of that double crochet row. So working into that first double crochet stitch reverse single crochet, you're never turning your work into the front loop only. Continue that across. When you come to your end, work your row of double crochet stitches in that back loop only and that's all there is to working this corded ridge stitch. So thank you so much for joining me and uh, once again I invite you to subscribe and be sure to come back again next Sunday for another great stitch tutorial. Until I see you again, happy crocheting. Bye.